Hey guys, so as you just see, the GoPro Hero 10 Black is finally here and I'm so super excited to finally open it. So in this video, I'm going to do a quick unboxing showing you what's exactly inside of this package and then I'm going to quickly set up this camera. Alright, so without further ado, let's do this. Alright guys, so this is how the GoPro Hero 10 Black looks like and as you can see from the outside it's almost identical to what we had with the GoPro Hero 9. The only visible difference that we have is gonna be the blue GoPro logo from the front and a blue Hero 10 Black on the side. That being said, if you have any accessories for your GoPro Hero 9, it's gonna be compatible with Hero 10. Now let's see what else we have in the package. And that's gonna be USB-C charging cable. We also have one battery. And by the way, if you have any batteries from a GoPro Hero 9, it's gonna be compatible with the Hero 10. We also have a curved adhesive mount to stick your GoPro to any objects. And a buckle mount to use your GoPro with certain accessories. We also have one thumb screw. So now, let's quickly put a battery and a micro SD card into the camera. If you have any questions about which micro SD card to use with your GoPro, I always gonna recommend SanDisk Extreme, preferably uh, 64 GB V30. I've been using these cards for a couple of years now and I never had problems with them. And now, let me show you how to set up your camera and navigate through it. So the first setting that's gonna pop out is gonna be the language. So we have to choose from a variety of languages available. So let's set it to English. Now, let's quickly agree on the legal stuff. We can turn off our GPS because we're not gonna need it now. Apparently we have to connect our GoPro app on our phone to be able to update our camera. Okay, so from here, let's put our GoPro Hero 10 Black on the side and let's take a look on our phone. Let's scroll from the top and make sure that you enable Wi-Fi, GPS and Bluetooth. So we're gonna have a notification and we have to click on Done. Okay, so from here, let's go to our GoPro Quick app and let's click on the camera icon. Now, let's click on the camera icon with a plus once again. And it's searching for our camera. This step can take a while. Okay, so it's found our GoPro, so let's click on connect. It's connecting. Uh, so the two devices are simply gonna work together. Okay, it's completed. Now, let's give it a name, but I will leave it as default. Okay, let's click on continue. and it says that there is a camera firmware update. So let's install the update. And this step can take a while. Now it's connecting to our phone's Wi-Fi. Okay, let's accept and continue. And it's transferring the files to our camera. Now, during this process, our camera can um, restart a couple of times. So don't worry, it's normal.
Okay, our camera has been just updated. Let's click on get it. And from now we can use our GoPro Hero 10 Black. Okay, so from now we are not gonna need our phone, so let's put it aside and let's focus on the camera itself. Now, once we are in the main menu, you can change between the modes with your finger, so you have to swipe either to the left or to the right. So we can select between time-lapse, video or photo mode. Let's come back. If you want to change some specific settings, let's click on the icon at the bottom and you can choose a completely different preset, like standard, activity or cinematic. If you want to manually change your settings, let's click on a pen icon. So you can change, for example, a different resolution, frames per second, maybe a different lens, or if you want, you can go scroll to the bottom and you can go to Protein, so you can manually set up uh, your camera by choosing a different ISO, or maybe change a white balance, sharpness, etc. Now let's come back. If you want to record the video or take a photo, let's press on the shutter button from the top. And if you want to stop the recording, let's press it again. Now, if you want to preview the video that you just recorded, let's scroll from the very bottom and you will see that your video is being played automatically. You can always stop it, change between different videos that you just recorded. And uh, if you press on this icon, you can scroll your video forward or backward. If you don't like what you just recorded, you can always hit on the bin icon to delete it. And let's click on delete. Now, if we scroll from the very top, we have access to commonly used features of the camera, such as, for example, a voice command, beep volume, quick capture, or maybe certain front screen options. Now, let's quickly go to the right and you can go to connections or preferences. Connections gonna be responsible if you want to connect your GoPro to your phone. So if you don't need Wi-Fi currently, you can always set it off. This way, you're gonna save some battery. You can also fine tune uh, your Wi-Fi connection, etc. Now, if we go to preferences, we can customize our camera even further. So let's go to general settings and we can adjust, for example, beep volume, adjust if we want to use quick capture, LEDs, auto power off, anti-flicker, video compression, and many more settings. Let's come back. We can also go to voice control settings. So if you want to completely turn them on and off, you can do that in here. You can change a language or even learn more about the voice commands that are available. You can also adjust your back and front LCD screens in display settings. So if you want to, for example, adjust the brightness level or perhaps set up a screensaver, you can do that in here. Okay guys, so I think that for today's video that's gonna be that's it. If you have any particular specific question about GoPro Hero 10 Black, then please don't hesitate to reach out to me either on my social media or you can always ask me about it in the comment section below. Anyway guys, I hope that you liked this video and you enjoyed it and you learned something from it. And if you did, then as always guys, give me a thumb up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't before, smash the notification button so you don't miss my future content and see you in the next one. Bye!